Good morning, Floss Tube. I'm Christy, and this is my channel, Dropper Girl Stitches, and this is Floss Tube number 55. So if you are joining me for the first time, or you are returning as a longtime subscriber, thank you so much for um, being here today and sharing a little bit of your day with me. Um, first off, I wanted to thank everybody for the amazing comments that you guys leave me. I read them all, I love them. I love when you guys share a little bit of your life with me. Um, it connects us and I really enjoy and appreciate it. And I hope that my videos give you a small amount of joy, happiness, some enabling, um, just like you guys and your comments uh, bring me joy every single time I do a video. So thank you. Okay, really quick, what's been going on? Not a whole lot. Dave had a surgery. It went well. It was a lot worse than he thought. He was in a lot of pain. And yeah, he's like, I thought I was tougher than this. And I'm like, it's called getting older, honey. That's what happens. Your body just takes longer to heal. But he's doing good. And in like a week, he has the clear to go back to normal and do whatever he wants. So thank you guys for all the prayers for that. Um, I got to hang out with Katie from Primrose. We did some finishes together. And then Fiona and I got to go to Stitcher's Paradise and um, do some stitching. I think she did some stitching. I don't think I really did any that day. But um, we just got to spend some time together, so it was really nice. And basically, I've been stitching and doing finishes, and we're getting ready for 4th of July, and that's about it. It's pretty, pretty good over here. Nobody's been sick. <laughs> Um, Alyssa messaged me and asked me, have the locusts and frogs came and got you again, you know, because we are always sick. And I'm like, no, they actually have not. It's actually, we're good right now. We're all, um, we're all doing really good. So, um, that's pretty much what's been going on over here. Um, the covered button tutorial, the stitched covered button. I had mentioned about doing a tutorial on that. But what I did is I did look at Lori Holt because she is the one who um, came up with that idea. And I did go back through her videos and she does have a tutorial on how to do it. And she does it pretty much the exact same way that um, I do. I told Anna, I said, why did we not, you know, go look at that video before we tried to do it instead of sitting there struggling. So instead of me making another video that's already been done and she is, the way she does it is perfect. Um, so what I'm going to do is I will link her floss tube video in the show notes. So you can go to that one and she will show you how to do it. And it is floss tube number 11, but I will link it for you guys. Um, and then last thing, just a new floss tuber I discovered, which is Nicole, Nicole, I think it's Nicole Spore. And she is a card maker, she has been, but she does now do floss tubes. And she is the sweetest. Um, I really, really enjoy her. Um, she stitches a lot of the same stuff I like. Um, so if you like my kind of stuff that I stitch, um, and she stitches other stuff too. But she's just a real sweetheart and she's um, just starting out on floss tube. And so go check her out. I think you guys will really enjoy her. And I will also link her in the show notes. Okay, so I have a lot to share with you today. So let's get started. So let's get on with my FFOs. Um, the first one. So this was um, Land of Liberty from Croquette A Go Go. And I just did the small piece. So here is my finish on this one. And this little metal, um, it's like a metal board. So you can hang it or you can just have it sit like an easel thing. And I got this from Stitch Etc. She had sent it to me and I was like, oh, I, I think the sunflowers, cause they're brown. I'm like, it would be perfect on this. So um, just rip rack and I used again, the same fabric um, that I used on a lot of my, my other patriotic finishes. And then just um, two simple bows and a little covered button. And I love this. I think this piece is perfect for this. So any sunflower pieces, any, I mean, there's so many things that can go on this, but I absolutely love it. So there's my first one. Um, let's see. My second one, this is a redo. <laughs> 
Um, I had this finished a while back and it's um, USA by uh, Lizzie Kate. And um, Stitch Etc. also sent me these new little boards of theirs and their little tiny mason jars. And so um, when they came in, I was, I pulled this piece apart from what it was before because I just didn't really like it. And I redid it. So look how cute these little tiny mason jars are. So I took it off the board and I stuck it on new sticky board, added some fabric, little tiny rickrack down here and a little baby rickrack at the top. So now you can see more of the mason jar. And then I just added um, two little bows and a painted heart or star. I always say that. But these are so cute and they come in other colors also. There's like black and blue, um, red. I'll show you here in a little bit. But um, so they're perfect for really little tiny pieces. Instead of making them into an ornament, you can put them on these little jars. So, so cute. So that's my second one. <coughs> and yes, it is okay to redo if you want to. <laughs> Most of the time I do not because I like to see how far I've come. Because some of my first finishes, they're, you know, they're, I was trying. <laughs> so I like to see how, and see how you progress along the way. So most of the time I don't change, but I really wanted to use something for that jar because it was just the cutest. Okay, my next finish was the, I believe this was the August 9 patch. It was the Bees by Primrose Cottage. And I made it um, into a pillow again, just like I did the other couple ones I, I've already done with just um, a, a little bee button and a bow. And eventually I will get to all of these. I just haven't yet, but that's gonna go in my bee display with all of their other amazing ones I've done. Okay, my next one was Be Happy by Primrose. And this is the last B1 I stitched of their series this year. So next year I um, still need to do high rules. So this is my finish on this one. And this is a board. It is from Hobby Lobby. It's in the unfinished wood section. It was painted like a light gray. And so what I did is I took some darker gray paint and painted it so it would match. And then again, um, sticky board fabric brick rack as always. And then on top, I just have a bow, a flower, and a bee button. And the bee buttons, um, I believe I got those at Hobby Lobby, but you can get some on Amazon also. And the board was $6.99. And they will go on sale. When the unfinished wood goes on sale, then um, you can get it for half off. So that is the last of my bee series. So I cannot wait to make and then put the whole entire display together. Okay, my next one is Love Grows Best in Little Houses. And this was by Darlene Dion Designs. And here is my finish on this one. So this board, it's actually a cutting board that came from the Target Dollar Spot. And it's, um, it's natural wood. So what I did is I stained it and then sanded off the edges because I always do that. And then um, just mounted with rickrack, sticky board, the gingham fabric, up on top, a few little bows and a covered button. And then over here, I just took the jute and tied it around and glued it and then made a little bow and then painted a little red heart to match and just glued it right on top. So I really love how this turned out. And this piece was supposed to be for with the next one I was, um, bleh, I will show you, but it just didn't work. So I tried it on this and I loved it. So super easy, fun, cutting board, um, target dollar spot. And they probably still have them. I don't think I've had it for too long. Okay, my last FFO for the day. This is the one that I was struggling with last time. And this was The Land That I Love by um, Salt and Pepper Stitching. So let's talk about this one. <laughs> so last time, if you guys remember, I had blue rickrack around it, which did match the houses in the dress really, really well, but it just wasn't working for me. And then so I wait, waited for the red rickrack, which is on here, 
and I uh, pulled off the blue, glued the red to the piece, and I still didn't like it. And I was like, okay, it just needs to be white. And I think because the fabric is so light that it just needed the white rickrack instead. And then um, I have like a blue denim fabric behind it. And then I thought, let's do the red rickrack around the edge because then it kind of stands out better on the whiteboard. And then I added, um, it took me a while to find some um, ribbon that matched and I did get it at Hobby Lobby. Um, and then some, I love this ribbon, it's like denim ribbon. Um, it goes perfect with all your patriotic and you can get that at Hobby Lobby all year round. And then the rickrack, that was the blue rickrack that was around here. I am, I just made a bow and then I um, painted a red star. And the cutting board, actually Katie let me know that um, Walmart has cutting boards. They only have two that I saw. So um, I have this one and then I'll share with you the other one. And um, so yeah, if you're, if you can't get to Hobby Lobby, you don't have a Hobby Lobby, but you want the cutting boards, Walmart does have them now. So yeah, and I just painted the board um, white and I uh, scuffed it up, sanded it like I do everything. So now I am finally happy with it. <laughs> it took a while and that's okay. Sometimes you have to just keep walking away. And I like took a picture of everything and I sent it to Anna and then she's like, it looks good. And then, I, and then the next morning I'm like, I tore it apart and did it again and she's just laughing. And I was like, now I like it. So sometimes you just have to walk away and you come back and you'll like it. So that is all my FFOs for today. I do have other finishes though that I have done. So the first one that I finished is Home is Where Your Honey Is. And this is by Darlene Dion Designs. Let's do this so you can see it. And I finished it. And this is on 27 count Linda fabric. So if you notice the pattern, the lettering is red. I changed it to the brown that they used in here, in like the bees. I just, that's just the way I went with it. And I love it, it's so cute. That was a fun one to stitch. Um, let's put that there. Okay, another one that I'd finished. So what I did is I um, stitched Sweet Summer by Primrose and I changed the colors. What I did is if you, um, and I will show you um, the summertime stitch, the big one, I wanted it to match that. So this could be like a little tiny pillow that matches that piece. So I just took the greens and the red and the pink that they had in that pattern and I did this one. And this is stitched on 28 count white Monaco. So yeah, cause I like things, if you guys know me, I like things matchy matchy. So I thought I'm gonna have this big piece and I don't really have anything to match it. So I wanted to put like a little pillow so I have a little tiny display. Okay, what else have I finished? So I have moved on to fall. <laughs> um, I think I told you guys that last time, I was like, I am so ready for fall. Um, and I did do some last year cause I don't, didn't normally have fall stitching. And um, so this year, I mean, you, normally I'm doing Halloween, but I am so just loving fall. Um, so I have some from last year. So this year I'm like, I have tons of patterns that I wanna stitch because I wanna decorate all this behind here in fall. Like take everything off and have like a whole fall thing in here. So the first one is Pumpkin Kisses by Primrose. And that is my finish on this. And I used all the call for colors and it's just on 27 count Linda fabric. Vintage Country Mocha. So there's one fall one. And the next one was Thankful by Primrose Cottage. And the coloring is kind of yucky because you can tell my printer was running out of ink when I was stitching that. And so look how cute that is. I can't see very well. I need to get my board out, but. So that was a super fun one too. And I used all the call for colors. They're very, very good at picking fall colors. And it's DMC, which is just wonderful. And this is also stitched on Linda fabric. <laughs> okay, those are all the finishes 
I have. But I wanted to share with you, since I'm doing fall stitching, I wanted to share with you um, some patterns that I'm gonna be stitching that maybe you don't know about, or um, I'm, I'm gonna enable you. So if you want to jump on the, on the fall bandwagon, I'm gonna give you plenty of options here. So the first one is Bent Creek, the Pumpkin Flower Sampler. I'm gonna stitch that one. I guess I can put this over here. This is so cute. Bitty Barns by Annie B's Folk Art. Look at the little autumn barn. So cute. Um, those are Halloween. I am gonna throw some Halloween in there too. I'll share those with you. The September Nine Patch. Very cute for fall. I just picked up this the other day. Heart in Hand um, Pocket Round Crow. I believe that's new. I'm looking down here. 2000, oh, 2020, so I guess it's not new. I'm just late to the party. But how cute is that? I love crows. So I'm gonna do that one. We're gonna try. And I'm doing this one this year. Autumn Rules. I, th this is probably one of my very favorite charts. So I'm gonna be stitching that. Um, also by Primrose, Welcome Autumn. Another really cute one. Anna stitched this up last year and it was beautiful. Um, yeah, there's more. <laughs> I'm giving you guys lots of ideas. This is Pumpkin Stack by Cherry Hill Stitchery. So cute. Again, the, is that, that's a little crow, right? I think it's a crow, but we're going to call it a crow. But he's adorable, so I need to stitch him. And again, this one, bad coloring because my printer was running out of ink. I've had this for a long time. I love fall most of all, so cute. And I wanted to do some apple stuff, but I was like, I don't have anything, I don't have like an apple section because you know, Alyssa, as Alyssa knows, we have to have sections. Um, but um, the Autumn Rules does have apples in it, so this would go with that. So we gotta do that one. And um, I kitted up some of them already. This is another one. Oh, that's by Frosted Pumpkins. And then this one is also by Frosted Pumpkins and Autumn, what is it? Autumn Skies and Pumpkin Pie. And is it Autumn Skies and Apple Pies, not Pumpkin Pies, but another apple one that would also go with that. And this, um, I'm using all DMC for this one. I think that's what it's called for. So there's another idea. And then I think this is my last, I've, I have some other ones, but don't wanna overwhelm me too, too much. Patchwork Crow. So this is an, an one that came out a couple years ago, but I and I wanted to stitch it, so I pulled it out. Love it. So there are a couple ideas for you guys if you guys want to start stitching fall. <laughs> um, I am going to put some Halloween in there. I didn't bring and show everything. Um, I love. I do. I love stitching Halloween so much. But this year, fall is what's speaking to me, and not like I don't have enough. Halloween stuff like I have a tree I have enough to fill the whole house I but I still will stitch some so I definitely want to do these and I love how she did on the back where she did three of them so I will I will be doing the cat the moon and the bats so I definitely want to do that one and again I do have other ones um that I want to stitch and I'll share them another time. I thought that was quite enough. Of, and will I get all that fall done? I don't know, but I'm sure gonna try. Cause I, and I'm just loving it. And it's like 108 degrees here today, but um, I think, I don't know. I just, I, I don't live in a place where there is, where fall is, you know, we get fall, <laughs> we get summer and we get winter. If, well, if you wanna call it winter, but. No changing of the leaves, but I do think I'm this. I told my hubby I want to go up to like um, Cedar City, Utah, because up there that's where you get the color of the leaves changing and stuff like that. I'm like, I want to see an actual fall, so that's on our list. Okay, um, let's go into my whips. So, this one I did not iron because I, I just took this off the hoop. I love this one so much, and it's Gather Ye Pumpkins by Little House Needleworks. Again, another older one, but um, it's been sitting in my stash and I'm like, I wanna stitch it. And this is as far as I've gotten. 
And I am stitching this on um, 28 count mushroom Lugana. And I did realize I'm like the white is, cause the house is white. I was like, Ugh, I probably didn't plan that too well. It might not show up as much as I like, but there'll be green underneath. There's a brown roof. So I'm hoping it will. And with everything around it, it'll be okay. But I absolutely love it. The, I think I used, the only color I changed on it, the green was called for, um, Pete, no, I, I am using Peapod. Never mind. I am using all this, the, uh, um, all the calls for colors. And this is just, oh, it's so beautiful. And it just makes me happy. <laughs> so that is my first whip. Let's move this over here. Okay. My next whip. is the summertime. So this is the one where I made the little pillow or the, the little small one that I'm gonna make into a pillow to match. <clears throat> and I am close on this. I'm almost there. I just have to put it down. So all I have left is up here. And this one, again, on 28 count um, white Monaco, and I love it. It's so happy and cheery. So I really need to get this done because after um, Patriotic, then um, I, it'll be like, you know, a couple weeks into, I'll leave the patri patriotic up for a couple weeks. Um, then um, I put up my summer stuff, which will be my bees and anything else summer that I have. And that will stay up um, until the beginning of September. Okay. Um, another whip. Uh, we'll do this one really quick. And this is the heartfelt um, Charity Stitch Along with that Quarter Shop. And I have loved stitching this one. It's so, it's probably my favorite of all of theirs that I've done. And that's where I'm at. So this row will be released, um, I think this week, but I started on one. I love the colors. I love the Ada. I love everything about it. And I cannot wait to um, put it up in here. Okay, this gotta go somewhere else. We got too much stuff here. We're hopefully not gonna bump the camera. Okay, another whip. Another autumn one, which I wanted to do since last year also, and that was the autumn doodles. It's so cute. So this is stitched on, it's also a mushroom Lugana, 28 count. So that's what I've gotten. Now, my only thing with this, I did change. So the orange is called for autumn spice the autumn spice was not it wasn't working for me i just it, i couldn't make it work it i know there's different color lots but it didn't i did i just didn't like it and the yellow i believe let me see what that was oh it was ye old gold and it was just too gold for me so what i did is i picked out for my orange i picked out 976 which goes with the color hues dmc and the yellow, I am using 729. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I'm, for an organized person, this is how my floss is. So I liked those colors better. And the other colors, I kept all the same, and they are um, Weeks and Classic Color Works, but those two, I did change, and I like them much better. And I'm sure, you know, again, the color lots, you might have an Autumn Spice that looks perfectly, and it looks just like it, and a Ye old Gold, but, I looked through all of my stash. I went to the um, Stitcher's Paradise and I'm just like, okay, we're just gonna use DMC. And there ain't nothing wrong with mixing DMC with um, Fancy Floss, it works. So that is my last fall of my fall. So um, one more whip. <coughs> so Lindsay from Primrose, she designed a flag. It is not out yet, but um, she will be releasing it. And if you saw their last video, she wants to stitch an entire like dough bowl with pillows full of just flags. So this is my start on the one that she sent me. And she is creating a bunch more. And this is cherry cobbler and blue corn. And it is stitched on one of our new favorite fabrics, which is minus 28 count light taupe and i love this color and so um let's see so i am using cherry cobbler and blue corn 
I'm also going to, so I want all my flags, I want them to all be like more of the primitive, the darker colors. So I'm also going to be using like Red Rocks and Blue Suede by Weeks. Um, 930 in DMC would also be good colors to do if you want. It would match these. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna stitch them all on the same fabric, but I do want them to all be, I think, all the darker colors. And so I was gonna share with you a couple, um, <clears throat> geez, um, flag ideas that I have picked up. So I really like this flag right here. I might put some white in there, but I thought that would be cute for a flag pillow. I love this pattern. This one's so cute by Madame Chantilly. So the flag up there with Be Brave, I thought that would be perfect. This is by Threadwork Primitives, America. Another really super cute flag. I got this one, I think it's gonna be too big, but I still liked it. And that is Star Spangled and it's by Little Stitch Girl. But that flag is wicked cute. So, um, oh, so what she's going to be doing um, is we are going to um, stitch flat one flag a month, I believe. Let's see if I can keep on that. Um, so we have like 12 pillows at the end of the, you know, by next um, 4th of July. <coughs> um, will I do that? Hopefully I will. But um, just keep, um, she's going to put a hashtag and just keep wait, um, looking because she will, um, she will be having some really cute little flag designs for all different sizes of pillows. And I do have this one, which I started last year, American Spirit. And I stitched it on the 25 count Lugana. And I didn't think it's super far. <laughs> but now I love this pattern so much. And I normally will not restart things, but these are the brighter colors. So I'm very tempted. I might take this and I might restart it like on the darker fabric and with a darker floss on a smaller count. If I did 28 count, then I think it would be, um, it would go with the pillows. And I told her, I said with all, cause she was like, what flag patterns do you have? And I'm like, these are the ones I picked out. I'm like, what flag patterns do you have? And so um, I said, you know, we're gonna have like 80 dough, bowl, you know, like a dough bowl in each house, all full of flags. And she's like, yep, and we, nothing wrong with that. So um, just keep an eye out for her. And um, I'm sure she'll post all about that. And I'm sorry, I'm, I know people have commented before, what is that in the background? That is Mitzi walking back and forth and her nails are all over my tiles, so. Okay, um, some enabling. I have, a, I have like three things, you guys. So, um, Okay, so that the one board that I got from Walmart, this is the other one. So both of these you can get at Walmart now. It's not very long, it will not fit Tiny Town, but you can still fit a piece on here. And it's super cute. I don't remember how much they were, but they're perfect for finishes. And then um, I found this at Big Lots. And I just thought it was really cool. I believe Fiona found one, um, I think she got one at Walmart last year, but it would be cute with a finish on here. So I got that. And then I've had this for a while, but this is, so, I was hoping to have a, a finished, a pillow done in this, but look, it's a doble for one. That's what I'm gonna call it. Because you could stick like one little pillow and then some picks on the side, um, Hobby Lobby. So I've had this and I keep forgetting to show it. And that little, um, the watermelon pillow from Primrose, I think I want to put that in here and then put like maybe some greenery or something around it. And then you can change it out. But seriously, it's a dough bowl for one and I absolutely love it. <laughs> it just makes me happy. So not a lot of enabling stuff for this week. Well, I actually, that is not true because I gave you guys lots of ideas for flag patterns and lots of ideas for fall. But you guys might have some of that already, but that's okay. Okay. Um, what do we got next? Um, so Stitchy Kindness. So this, this is from Stitch Etc. And I will ta um, put their Facebook group below. So these are the little jars. Look how cute they are. 
So there is a black one too, but it got used for a finish. So thank you, Kim and Ashley. I absolutely love them. And then I got a thank you card. And thank you for, for what you guys write on, in your cards. It means so much to me. And then I got another thank you card. Look how cute this is. And she did give me a little gift card. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. I do not expect anything. The only thing I, you know, just, the only thing I ask is we just let me know that you got your, um, got your giveaway, you know, so I know that you have received it. But when you guys send me cards, I mean, you have no idea. And you know what? The weird thing is, is I will always be, ha it's always on a day that I'm not having the greatest day and the card comes and it totally brightens my day. So you guys have no idea how much this means to me. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, a little bit of haul I got. So this is from Primrose Cottage. This was their um, Americana trim bundle. So these are what their trim bundles look like. You're gonna get um, ribbons, you're gonna get Rick Racks, you're gonna get pom poms. I love this ribbon. <coughs> so cute, but that's what you get. So they've already, they've already done two of these, a summer one, and I believe, let's get that out of the way. Nope, that, sorry. Um, They'll probably, I know they'll have a Halloween and a Christmas one too. Okay, some of my haul, oh, gotta have it. Just came out, absolutely love it. I think I am changing the green and orange. I, um, when I was at the store, I don't believe they, I don't know, I have a horrible time, especially with greens, but I'm gonna pick some different colors just for the green and orange. It's so cute. I did get this one, the Liberty. What is it? Liberty silk with a silk pack. Never use is it Belle Soie? Belle Soie. I've never used Belle Soie before, so that'll be interesting to use. If anybody know? I don't even know if you use two strands. I know nothing about it, but we're gonna give it a try next year. And yes, this would be cute in um, with your flags too. And then um, I was watching Made by Michelle McGraw, and she showed this pattern. She showed the most amazing chicken pattern, which I cannot find. It's, it's, it's older. I should have checked my um, LNS, but um, I have not been able to find that, but I was able to find this one that she showed. And this is Hilltop Cross Stitch Club. So this is just the pattern and for July. And when she showed that little guy and I was able to find it on Fat Quarter Shop and I was like, just the cutest. And it's all DMC, adorable. Thank you, Michelle. And then, um, I wanted this as soon as I saw it I mentioned it to Lindsay and I was like can you get this this is so cute Bent Creek and it comes as a kit and again is it Bill Swall probably I don't know what it is but I love it and I'm not sure what fabric this is but I think I might actually be able to stitch on it so love Wait, united we stand they might still have them in stock I'm not sure and then my last thing that I bought was another fall one I love this one Simply Autumn by the Drawn Thread. So you guys know I love everything cutesy, but I'm really liking these alphabets and just grown up ones, I should say, because I am such a cutesy stitcher. That is just my personality. Um, but I do like other things too. So um, I am branching out and trying um, other things. Okay, let's see. Just um, a couple things that are new at Fat Quarter Shop and then we'll get to the giveaways last week. Cute little bee needle minder and I'm sure you guys have seen, all, all of you have seen all this because I am late to the party again. The sleigh ride, very cute. And these will be future giveaways, not today, but. And then um, I'm sure you've seen, this is the, ooh, is a Stitch Quarterly. It's with the lemonade and it comes with a bunch of cute stuff. This will be a future giveaway too. Okay, let's see, stay. Okay, that is, I think, everything I have to show you guys today and share with you. Oh, sorry, it's hot in here, even with the air conditioning on. Okay, so let's get to giveaways. So last time, my question was, what are you stitching on the month of June? And I loved reading what everybody wrote. A lot of you guys were stitching patriotic. 
I think there was a couple people that were actually moving on. To, they were done. It made the comment, I'm, I'm, I'm itching to stitch fall. Just jump right in, you guys. I'm doing it. You can do it too. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to throw that over there. It's going to go on the floor. I don't think that's does. Okay, so number one was the strawberry bag. And the winner of that is Long Dog Stitcher. So congratulations, you have won that one. Um, okay. Number two was the bee bag. And it does come, where did I put that thing? Oh, it, it just fell on the floor. It comes with little floss tags too. They're on the floor. But the winner of that is Carla LaPlante. LaPlant. L-A-P-L-A-N-T-E. So congratulations, you won the bee bag. Number three was the mesh bag from Fat Quarter Shop and the sew pattern, cut press sew. Number three, the winner is Jackie Chapman. So congratulations. Okay, number four was the Sip and Stitch. And the winner of that is Christina Harden. Congratulations. And the last giveaway was all the patriotic, four patriotic ones from Primrose Cottage. Thank you girls for donating. Um, and the winner of that, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this, but it's, so I'm just gonna spell it out. It's S-D-M-P-H-X. Not even gonna try to butcher that, but you, you are the winner of the Primrose Patterns. So congratulations to all of the winners. Okay, what else do we got here? Okay, I think that it really just wants to go on the floor. I should just let it. It's like, okay, I need a drink really quick, guys. Okay. <laughs> it's one of those days. Okay, so that is it for today. Um, oh, I hope you guys have a wonderful 4th of July. Um, in the month of July, I am going to be um, stitching, continue stitching the fall. Um, probably throw in a little bit of Halloween in there. Um, Anna is coming down at the end of July and her Fiona and I, I was like, let's go out of town. Let's book an Airbnb in St. George. We can visit the Primrose girls. And I said, and just let's have a weekend of stitching and relaxing and have some fun. And the two of them have never been to St. George. So I am so excited to take them. Um, I believe Lindsay's definitely going to be there. So she's going to come hang out with us. I believe Emily is. I think mom and Katie are going to Disneyland again. <laughs> Lucky girls. Um, so um, yeah, we're just going to spend the weekend. We're going to take them antique shopping um, and just stitch and have a good weekend. So I am so excited for that and excited to see um, Anna again and hang out with her and Fiona and the girls from Primrose. I just love them. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the month of July. And um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful um, 4th of July. I hope you have a wonderful um, next few weeks. Um, and the last thing I'm going to leave you with today um, <coughs> is a quote that I found um, a couple days ago and it really, um, I just really loved it. So I thought I would share it here. So it says, in a world where chaos seems to be surrounding us, May we shine more light than darkness, spread more faith than fear, speak more hope than despair, and may we be a beaming reflection of the goodness of God. So that's what I'm going to leave you guys with today. Keep, just keep going, keep going. I know it's hard, but keep going. Be positive and look for the good because there is good. So you guys have a great few weeks and I will see you guys next time. Bye.